We learn best when we try some, some questions, yeah? So, um, we've spoken about the circumference of circles and the formula, we've spoken about pi, about a radius, diameter, and everything. Now the question is, what is the circumference of this circle, yeah? And the circumference is the perimeter, yeah? but if we talk about perimeters and circles, we say circumference, okay? Now you know, or you should know, that the circumference is two pi r, okay? That is a really important formula um, for you to, to remember, yeah? And I've shown you in a previous video what that all means, because the circumference c equals two times pi times the radius, and pi is a number. Now again, I show you in a different video what that number is roughly, and where it comes from, and it's nothing to be scared of, yeah? Two times pi times the radius. All I have to do is to find the radius. The radius is the only unknown, the only variable, if you like, in this formula, yeah? Of course, the circumference can vary as well, but the radius, that's what you want to find out. Now, what is the radius? The radius is that line, the length of that line from the center to the circumference of the circle. Four centimeters in this case, so times four. So what is the circumference equal to? I can just grab my calculator now. It is two times pi. Yeah, you make sure you know where your pi button is. Yeah, for me, it's shift and then the standard form button times the radius, which is four, equals, okay. I'm gonna put it here, and it tells me it is 25.13274123. And all answers which are not accurate, we have to round to three significant figures. Unless an angle, it's an angle, because an angle you have to round to one decimal place. But this is not an angle, it is the circumference of a circle, so three significant figures, one, two, three. The one stays in one or goes up to a two, yeah, those are your two options, that depends on the next number, and the one indeed stays a one. 25.1, the unit is a centimeter, okay? So, circumference of a circle, two pi r, yeah, that's a formula you need to know. All you have to do is to find the radius is given to you for, so two times pi times four, then you grab your calculator, write it down, it doesn't take very long, eh? show your workings, and your final answer, correct to three significant figures, don't forget that, 25.1 centimeters. Okay, go to the next video, I'm gonna show you something new.